we're going to talk about demons. Demons have been abused in the Western world for centuries. They have been abused by Caucasians for thousands of years. Well, the little thousand that they've been on the planet. As far as when they were in, like, when Greece started, Rome, and all that shit. Because they know the power in which demons possess. But they have been totally misunderstood. In order to understand the thing, you must go to the root and core of its original teachings. And in order to find this, you must go to somebody that has the best of knowledge concerning these types of things. So, let me just be blunt. Thoth, the Atlantean, a.k.a. Enoch, was also known as Tahuti in Egypt, was taught all things in creation, according to the book of Enoch. And he lays out a strong foundation in his other book, it's called the Hermetica. It's translated in Greek, but there's also a translation on the right-hand side of the book from the Greek into the English language. <clears throat> okay? So, the Hermetica is another book of Hermes Trans Transmagistus, however you say his name, but it's basically Thoth the Atlantean. And he lays out a strong foundation. Of what a demon is. A.K.A. Damien. Jen. Or the genie in a bottle. Or the genie in a lantern. Same thing. The genie in a lantern. That's a demon. So he says that. In the Hermetica. <clears throat> which I made a video about this anyway. It's in my playlist. About the demons. But I'm just going to. Make this quick. Because some of us really have no idea. What a demon is. A demon, according to Thoth, the Atlantean, does not possess a physical body. A demon does not possess a soul. A demon is pure consciousness. Before your soul can be controlled, it has to have consciousness in it. A, a demon, again, does not have a physical body, nor does it have a soul. Follow me. A demon is embodied in a vesture of fire. A demon cannot inhabit a person's body, according to the Hermetica, by the Atlantean or Tahuti, the god of wisdom, a demon cannot inhabit a person's body, least that body uh, decenerates or burn into a, a it, it will not be able to take the vital energy of the demon in its pure state. This is why the demon must take on a soul first. Man, I don't think y'all hear me. If a demon tries to take over the body of a human without going inside of a soul first, the body, the physical body, will disintegrate, will burn into flames. Because the physical body cannot withstand the vital energy. I don't think y'all hear me. I'm not giving y'all the interpretations of what Caucasians have put in movies to scare you away from really researching what a demon really is. 
I'm giving you the original teachings of what a demon is. That come from the original man. When the original man was in his original way of thinking. Before they were mentally colonized by Caucasians. We have been taught totally wrong concerning what a demon is. Let's flip the page and go a little bit deeper on the history of the demons. In the Holy Quran, in the making, when Allah was on the verge of making a man from sound clay or black mud, according to the Quran, is what it say. After he had made this Adam, the original Adam or the pre-Adamite, according to the Quran, the black, the black man from black mud. Yeah, the first people on the planet. Okay, a lot of y'all don't want to hear this shit, but it is what it is. After he had got done making this man from black mud, he told the angels in the jinn, jinn, aka demons. Jinn is just an Arabic word for demon, just so y'all know that shit. To submit. And the demons, aka jinn, according to the Holy Quran, said, I will not submit to something that you made out of out of um out of mud. I'm better than he. For you created me before him. You made me out of a hot, intense fire. So the jinn were made before the man on earth. This is why a lot of the jinn, according to the Hermetica, are not mankind friendly. Because they feel like they are the original owners of this planet. Because they were here before the black man that was made from mud, black mud, on the earth, according to the Holy Quran. So this is why the, the Hermetica, written by Walter Scott, according to Enoch, or Thoth the Atlantean, or to Hudi, the God of Wisdom, who was taught all things in creation, according to the book of Enoch, by default makes him a God. This is why some of the jinn are not mankind friendly. But according to the also according to the Hermetica, some of them are mankind friendly. But just a small amount that are not mankind friendly. Okay? And you can you will find out about them. It's just I think it's 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 no more than two hundred, I believe. You can read that in the uh, book of Enoch. Where it talk about the fallen. The fallen wasn't angels, it was jinn. Angels do not disobey. Okay, they, they were not designed to disobey. So a lot of people think that Satan, a.k.a. Iblis, disobeyed the Most High. He, they, a lot of people think he was an angel. But according to my research, an angel can only obey. They talk about the fallen angels. Not according to the Quran. These were not angels. These were jinn that fell. They were falling demons because demons have free will. The jinn have free will. We have been taught totally wrong. Angels cannot disobey. The Sufis talk about that shit. An angel can only do what the Most High tell it to do. But a jinn has free will just like a human. A demon has free will. Again, they do not have a soul nor a physical body in their pure state. This makes them more powerful than an angel or a human. This is why when you, when you watch the, mo the movie Aladdin, what did the genie, a.k.a. demon, tell Will Smith in the movie? He said, I am all powerful. There's nothing I cannot do. I am all powerful. May y'all don't hear me. All powerful. Okay. And according to the Hermetica, a jinn can bring anything into creation. A demon can. But a man 
cannot. Man cannot. Because they are stripped of their vesture of fire. They are stripped of being in the pure state of a gin. Y'all ain't following. I didn't lost a lot of y'all. Because y'all have been programmed from birth. To the point to where you hear the word demon. You automatically just shut down. You block it out. You don't want to hear no more. Are you talking about demons? Don't even know what a damn demon really is. Because you've been taught by colonizers. Ones that will not teach you your true history. And those that really are akin to you. In Hermetica. A book of Enoch or Thoth. It tells you that we are akin to the jinn. Because we possess consciousness. Consciousness in its pure state is a demon. I don't know how much I can try to make this shit clear to y'all. I know a lot of y'all ain't going to want to hear it. A lot of y'all just can't take it because the pill is too hard to swallow. See, when the Elohim said, let there be light. The creator, which is the universal mind. The universe itself is consciousness. This is according to the Atlantean. He says that shit in the Emerald Tablets. He also says it in a Hermetica. He is literally the best representative of the Creator. So when the, when the Most High or the Elohim said, let there be light. The Most High or the Elohim is just the commander. He gives the command. And the jinn or demons are the ones that carry out the order of the creator. If I'm lying, go research this shit. Go read the Hermetica yourself. In the Hermetica, it tells you that the jinn or the demons, a.k.a. Damians, work in favor of the Most High. This makes them divine. This makes them God-like. Because they are working in harmony with the Creator. Remember, they are all powerful. The Creator don't do shit, just give a command. Let there be light. But something is carrying it out, the order. It's the jinn, the demons. I know y'all saying this nigga done lost his damn mind. Don't take my word on none of it. Y'all go research it. And if you don't want to go get the book, the Hermetica, or the Quran, or the Go Waste of the Lesser Keys of Solomon, just go to my playlist and watch the video concerning the demons. Because I'm using the books, the ancient texts. Okay? So, don't tell me I'm lying when I got the documents on your ass. So y'all will say, well, what's that that be possessing people? Is that a demon? <laughs> Remember when I said some of the jinn or demons are not mankind friendly? The like 200 according to the book of Enoch that fell, so-called angels that fell from heaven, which were demons. Which were jinn that believe they are the original owners of this planet. And they got an issue with man being on this planet, running it in this dimension. But because they went against the creator, they were cast into a different dimension. And they are trapped there and they want to come back on this motherfucker. So they look for low vibrating motherfuckers to possess, to inhabit. And they look to cause havoc. Because they got a, a grudge with the mortal on the planet. Y'all don't hear me though. Y'all don't hear me. See the demons according to the Gnostic texts. Come from their place of origin is the Zodiac. A.K.A. Archons. According to the Hermetica. Another book of Thoth. The jinn came from the archons, and the archons are the zodiacs. 
and they played a role in structuring. They were tricked, though, into structuring this human physical body. <laughs> they were tricked by the creator, the masculine side of the of the universal consciousness. Yeah, read it. Matter of fact, just go watch my video. The truth about the bloodthirsty, the one and only bloodthirsty God, y'all the brother, revealed. The jealous God in your Bible. You can go to my playlist and watch it. And I'm, it's self-explanatory because I'm reading it right out the damn Gnostic text. Okay? So I dare one of y'all to call me a goddamn lie. Because these books that I'm talking about, the Gnostic text, that shit go back to Atlantis. Because it was the Atlanteans. That taught the Egyptians about the Gnostics or Yadavirth. The Hermetica go back to Atlantis because it was taught by the Atlantean. That shit go back like 50,000 years. So don't tell me I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about when I'm going to the source when it was in its original state concerning what a demon is. <laughs> so let us not forget that a demon, an Agos Damian, is some of the most powerful beings in the universe. And because they have been demonized, we were taught to run away from them. I've been telling y'all from the time I first started making these videos, about two years ago. Anything they want to keep the original people from, they demonize it. Whatever they demonize, you should run to and study it. Because it's something they're hiding that they don't want you to know about. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't think I ever told this before. I'm going to say it anyway. I don't think I ever shared this. So I did this ritual one night where I had summoned some demons, right? It wasn't a invocation. It was a... No, 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 no. It was an invocation. My bad. It was an invocation. It was an invocation, not an evocation. Why well, I summoned a demon. And, uh... I'm just looking at the wall. I laid there and surrender to whatever it's supposed to do. And I'm going to tell y'all from personal experience. If you summon a demon, if you summon a demon, the energy that they possess is so powerful, so powerful, that your organs will begin to vibrate extensively. Your body will begin to vibrate. It is very aggravating. Your adrenaline glands will begin to vibrate. And speed up at a rate that is unreal. Because their energy is so fucking strong. Just like the Hermetica says, I know it's not lying. The human body cannot withstand... The energy of a Damien. I only felt it for a few seconds. And my damn body almost went into shock. Okay. My body, my physical body almost went into shock. So, be careful how you summon a demon. A real demon. I ain't talking about some motherfucker from a, a elemental, from a low dimension, or something that is not what a real demon is in its pure state. I'm talking about a demon in its real pure state in which I just described... But I'm sitting up there looking. I'm, I'm laying down looking at the wall, right? My eyes wide open. My whole vision blacked out. It didn't black out. It winded up in the room. It winded up in the room where there was a, a table with like a, a linen cloth on it. It was a mirror. One of those mirrors like on the uh, movie Scary uh, Skeleton Key. One of those mirrors that you can push and they started spinning. And uh, that's how I'm going to leave it right there. Okay? But I tapped into another dimension of a demon. 
or Damien or Jen within myself because they reside within us. We are akin to them because we have the exact same shit that they have. We have consciousness. The only difference is we are we are a gen that has a soul in a physical body because the gen before it comes into this dimension it has to take on a soul then a soul takes on a physical body this is according to the hermetica written by Walter Scott but it's really the words of Thoth the Atlantean some 50,000 year old original thoughts of the original people writings okay so don't get this twisted the jinn or demons reside within us within our pineal gland there are 72 energy vortexes each name of each each name of each demon is only a entrance to their realm so when you chant their word so when you chant their name during your ritual you're only opening a portal within yourself you're only opening basically a gateway or a door to enter their realm I'm speaking from personal experience. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. And if you're gone, you're going to invoke a demon. Don't be vibrating low. Because if you're vibrating low, you're only going to attract some low dimensional demons or demons. And these demons, one of them can possess light. 10,000 legions. Some of them possess up to 50,000 legions. And just one legion, there are, to, to every legion, to one legion, one legion is like 8,000, 8,000, um, I would say soldiers that this one demon may be over. There's, in, in other words, that would be for one, let's say as a king demon. Or he's a um a general demon. He's gonna have for each legion there's eight thousand soldiers that works for him. These are lower demons. Then you have higher demons. They rule over the lower demons. So within the original man, because we have functional pioneer glands more than anybody else on the planet, that means that we can tap into these seventy-two chakra centers or 72 demons or energy vortexes or gateways for each deity a demon in, within the pioneer gland we have a, a army within us literally this is why demons have been so abused by the western world because they saw the shit that we was doing during uh, ancient Kemet or ancient Egypt. They know what the fuck was going on. That's why you got people like E.A. Wallace Buzz that wrote um, books concerning what I'm talking about. The Practical Magic. The, the Egypt, I think it's a book called The Practical Magic of the Egyptians. Something like that. I got the book. I just can't. I think it's called The Practical Magic of the Egyptians. Can't really think of it, but it's something like that. But it's written by E.A. Wallace Budge, and he go into that. Some of the stuff I'm talking about. So don't let these motherfuckers lie to y'all about your history. Because the demon's history is your history. Because a part of them resides in you. If your ass got consciousness, you got it in you. But you can't tap into it unless you have a functional pioneer gland. So it's irrelevant if you have a calcified pioneer gland to tap into the demons. 
So y'all better stay away from that fluoride because it definitely calcifies the pineal gland. They put it in toothpaste. They put it in Listerine. They put it in tap water. Stay away from that shit. Tap into your power. Just by awakening in the Kundalini, you will automatically have power over the demons. This will make you. This is. This will make you Solomon, A.K.A. a real Jesus Christ, and you will have power over the twelve disciples, which are the zodiacs, which are really the twelve DNA strands. Okay, <laughs> which. Oh, remember I told y'all that the demons come from the Archons or the Zodiacs? That's their place of birth. This in turn will give you power over the demons and you will be able to command them to do your bidding at will if you awaken the Kundalini. Oh yeah, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. The true ring of Solomon is the halo. And your halo literally, when you zoom in on it, is the zodiacs above your head. That's your crown. When you unlock that God um, essence or that mighty current kundalini. According to the secret teachings of the ages, Lucifer is the kundalini. He fell from the pioneer gland to your root chakra. So, redeem Lucifer and you redeem Christ in you. Okay? The kingdom is within. Lucifer was cast into the pits of hell fire. <laughs> the root chakra. He fell from heaven. Y'all, man, y'all better stick with me. Stick with me and I will give you the original... I will give you back your original thoughts. Okay? Stick with me. Also, according to the Hermetica, once you have um, left this physical body, what we call so-called death today, once you leave this physical body, if you've wronged no one, basically your heart is as light as a feather, and you are able to not have any regrets about your life as far as like treating people, mistreating people. You leave the physical body and you also leave the soul. You go back to your pure essence. You go back to being a jinn or a demon. But it says according to the Hermetica, it says... But the poor soul, wait a minute, let me rerun it. It says that the poor soul, whom has wronged no man or no one, when they, phys when they leave this physical body, they become a vesture of fire. That means they become a gin. But it says the one that has wronged man stays in his soul. And his soul seeks a earthly body reincarnation karma so the soul according to the hermetica was set up to be magnified through guilt and mistreatment of others to the physical body it was set up to be magnified to the physical body. Thus we have reincarnation. So the highest of orders. Or the highest of honors. According to the Hermetica. Is to not. Possess a soul. But become pure consciousness. A demon. I know I done lost a lot of y'all. Y'all like, this nigga done lost it. Don't take my word for none of this shit. Go watch the videos I told you to watch. Because I know a lot of y'all ain't y'all ain't trying to buy these books or read them. I got the books and I'm reading them for you. Just go to my playlist. But I'm just trying to wrap this thing up. 
so that you will have the privilege of knowing the native on the planet, the original man's original thoughts. Y'all hear me? <laughs> yeah, seriously. These demons are the original gods. Because they can call anything from the word of the Most High into being. They just carry out the order of the Most High. They just do what they told. Except the ones that don't like mankind. Because they feel like we stole their planet. Okay, they got a grudge with us. And there's not that many of them at all. Anyway, I hope y'all learned something from this video. Throw away those ideas that has been taught to us by Caucasians. A baby on the planet, may I add. They're not going to teach you the original teachings in which we originally possessed. They are not. Because that's where your power lies at. I don't think y'all hear me. Anyway, until then... May the force be with you. Peace. Oh. <laughs> and also, may the demons be with you. <laughs> yeah. Peace.